actually going to do this because I'm already starting to feel a little bit nervous and we <laughs> haven't even begun the challenge. All right then. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Supercars of London around 40 kilometers south of Barcelona. Behind me, we have got the Peugeot E208 GT, which in my eyes is the best looking, most accessible electric car that money can buy. It's a city car. Peugeot claim that this can achieve 217 miles on one charge. Today, I'm gonna to put that to the test. We all know that I love testing V12s and V10s to the limit of its fuel economy. Today, right now, is the first ever battery economy run on the SOL YouTube channel. I'm fascinated by it, and I've started to recognize that electric cars are becoming part and parcel in our life. Long gone are the days of flame-throwing Lamborghinis, maybe a week, because last week I did an Aventador S, but today, we are going the complete opposite and seeing how we get on. I've got a route mapped out. We're gonna hit New Camp, we're gonna hit the mountains, we're gonna hit the beach, and let's see whether we can maximize the fun out of using an electric car to its absolute max without getting range anxiety. I'm gonna get my GoPro set up and get cracking because I've got a dinner to attend to at 7 p.m. tonight, so we're actually on a tight time frame as well, and I need to get the gym in. So let's go right now. Leaving the town of Siege, don't know whether I pronounced that correctly or not. So basically, the route is around 200 miles that we're going to be trying to do today, starting at the new Camp. Because the last time that I was in Barcelona for a bit of a holiday was when I was 14 years old and I came out here on a football tour. We played a couple of local teams and we went to the new Camp, watched Barcelona play and I bought a Barcelona jersey. This feels like the right time that I should be revisiting at Camp Nou, a landmark to the Barcelona city, and buying another Barcelona shirt. So that is my number one goal on stage one. From there, we're gonna drive through Barcelona, hopefully on the coastal road, and then up into the mountains, where we're gonna really be able to put this car to the test. And the idea of the challenge is to see whether range anxiety exists in 2020 in electric cars because the more I think about it, the more I realize that we are gonna have to start getting used to it. Don't get me wrong, I still love my Lamborghinis, I still love my supercars, but electric cars are coming, and I do sometimes consider what it would be like to live with one in and around a city. My first mistake is that I couldn't work out what driving mode I was in. I was looking at the dials on the right hand side which have power, eco and charge and I was scrolling through the driver modes completely unaware that the driver modes was coming up on the left hand side of the display. So to begin with, I was driving the first few kilometers in sport. <laughs> I'm now in eco mode, cruising along and our range is saying 220 kilometers which I don't think is gonna be enough. This car apparently will do 217 miles, which is over 300 kilometers. Now we're operating at a temperature of around 14 degrees, which will help the battery better than if it was in England. But other than that, it's not boiling hot. So it is still gonna be tricky to eke out the maximum out of this battery. The thing is, we're on a motorway and this is very much been built for a city car and to be used as a city car, but you need to be able to have that flexibility and freedom with an electric car to enjoy it and not have range anxiety on longer distance journeys. And that's exactly the point of this challenge. So I just hope that that range is gonna go up, otherwise we will run out of, uh, we'll run out of electric charge and be stranded and not have dinner or be able to go to the gym, which are two very important parts of my day-to-day -day life. <laughs> listen to the motor going, listen to the battery going. It is the most bizarre feeling to drive an electric car. We're gonna look back on a video like this and be like, <laughs> at the start, at the brink of this new technology, it's, quite funny to have it so alien to us. 220 kilometers still on the range, it's not going down, which is a good thing, but I'm doing my best at feathering the throttle, keeping my fingers crossed, because at the moment, we're not making it back to the hotel on that range. I am so hot. It's not even, it's not even that warm outside, but I'm taking this seriously, so there is absolutely zero 
air conditioning. Okay, sorry, sorry. Driving it in eco mode, I'm getting to grips with the braking regenerative system. So basically, as you brake, it gives a little bit of that kinetic energy back to the battery. Now with all of this traffic, I don't think it's gonna have a major effect on the range. Not in the same way as a petrol or a diesel car would drop in MPG and become worse for fuel efficiency. Battery, not quite the same. It's not really gonna have a major effect, I don't think, sitting in this traffic. This is it. Right there is gate 14 to FC Barcelona's football stadium. We've made it and our range is 210 kilometers and we're still around an eighth in. So here we go. We are cruising in to the stadium in complete silence and electric mode. Oh, I can barely move. I'm in desperation for the toilet. Um, so I'm not gonna spend too long talking, but we've only done 10 kilometers of range, but we've covered over 40 kilometers of distance to get here. We need to go up to the mountains next through the Barcelona city. I'm gonna try and find a toilet in the new camp. I'm also gonna try and buy a Barcelona t-shirt because when you're here, this is the second time I've ever been here in my life. So I feel like I should probably get a souvenir to do that. Um, the car is off. You would have no idea whether it was on or off. <laughs> Jeans are not the one when you need the toilet. There's something relaxing in a daily driver that doesn't make any noise that when you get in it, everything starts to calm down. You don't mind sitting in traffic. But now we drive through Barcelona and we head up to the mountains. This is where it starts getting interesting as we make the incline up towards some amazing driving roads. And can we really enjoy the performance that we get out of an electric car? the instant talk and there are quite a lot of PS's that come out of uh, one of these cars is that the right term for an electric car I don't know I cannot believe that we are now in the mountainous regions north of Barcelona kind of going towards Girona and in the direction of the Pyrenees and Andorra there isn't any snow I don't think we're that high but the Sun is setting we have just got over half of range left we have done far more kilometers than the car thinks that we've done therefore the range computer isn't as accurate as that of let's say a petrol car or a diesel car where you almost get it down to the mile in terms of how far you can go on one tank of fuel we've got 130 now it's saying but I tell you what I am as relaxed as I've ever been no range anxiety here I've got the air conditioning on now, the windows are up, I'm enjoying my drive, I've actually got my heated seat on. So I'm taking this challenge very lightly now. I've got full confidence in this car. I just didn't trust electric cars, but now the likes of Peugeot and other real mainstream car manufacturers focusing on building electric cars for the city, I can't help but think sometimes, is this the way that we go for daily driving for those mundane a to b drives do we get an electric car because i sometimes look at the petrol station when i'm in there and i spend far too long in petrol stations and i'm standing around looking at other people going what are we doing what are we doing we are the old generation the new generation are driving around in an electric car that's doing no harm whatsoever to the planet and then they're getting home at night and putting their car on charge like we do with our mobile phones. That is the next step for A to B, boring commuting driving, this is where it's at. Of course, I would still need a supercar, a car that I can connect with and engage with and have fun like all petrol heads do. I do like this car. And the only thing at the moment that's holding me back from getting an electric car is the fact that the charging infrastructure, especially where I live, just doesn't exist. Do you know what? I actually think that we're about 120 kilometers away from the hotel. <laughs> I've got 130 kilometers range. I didn't realize that. 
<laughs> uh oh. I mean, I cannot believe that we've done this. 48 kilometers left on the range. We've covered around 180 miles. Peugeot say 217 is the max that you can get out of this car. And the idea for today was really to see whether electric cars are what we should be driving on a daily basis. And I wanted to do it in a fun challenge and we have massively made the most of today being down in Barcelona and not doing a general drive. We've been to the mountains, we've been to the Camp Nou. I bought a t-shirt, I'm actually really liking this. And loving this car. Because electric cars, realistically, are what we should be driving on a day-to-day -day basis when we're not looking for that fun, adrenaline fueled fire coming through our veins. We should just be driving something like this. And I haven't got any back pains. I haven't got any pains whatsoever. It's comfy, the sound system's good, it's easy to drive, and it's silent. And I come out of this relaxed and refreshed, ready for the gym. The time is half six. I've got 30 minutes to run into that hotel, put my gym stuff on, have a bit of a workout, and then go to dinner. So we've completed the challenge in the allotted time that we had. We haven't run out of battery. The Peugeot has been super impressive. And whilst it's not a supercar, and we're not in London like my channel suggests in the name, but I started that channel 11 or 12 years ago. And here we are, driving a Peugeot in Barcelona. But that is how times are changing. And I hopefully have hit home just how important I think having one of these on your driveway is for the A to B drives, where you don't need a fun... Yeah, there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you have enjoyed this video, something slightly different, and I will see you soon. Let me know in the comments whether you could see yourself owning an electric car or whether you do own an electric car. And I'll see you for the next video. Take care. Goodbye.